Hey guys, it's Black at 975 coming at you live with another Lost Relics video. And today, I'm actually doing a follow up to a video I did in the past where I talked about putting down items to backtrack yourself so that you save more time when looking for a chest. Uh, this was actually talked about in uh, the, the community stream that was done yesterday. Uh, so this is, I wanted to prove my point and my answer to those guys from that stream as um, I don't know if it was made very clear what I meant in that stream. And I wanted to show this trick to the top uh, top players so that they could use it to help the community get, get better at using their time better when looking for items. So let's go over this. So you'll see right now, uh, if you look at my map, it's a little bit hard to see, but right here uh, is an item I have sitting down. If you were in game, you could see it better, but because you're watching a YouTube video, it may or may not show up. Um, currently, we walk in this room right here. I'm over four spaces away from that um, that room. It can still be clearly seen right here on the edge of the map. Um, if I put up tab, I wonder if it'll show up better on the video. Maybe it'll show up better here on the video. You might have to look at your screen a little bit, but right here, I put an item down. Right here is a split in the road. After going four um, tiles here, we have not reached a treasure chest. Meaning that there wouldn't be one here anyways. If you keep going here, which I've already done to illustrate for this video. Uh, you, as you see, there is no there is no chest here for a long time, right? So now that we've crossed the four mark barrier, which you don't really have to count. You can just keep this in your head when you're going one, two rooms, three rooms, four rooms. Someone was saying they were counting out the spaces on their map. But I think you just keep the item in your head. When you see a split, okay, I'm four rooms away. You know you can turn back. Um, so if we're right here. Watch how long it takes to get back over to uh, to the other room. I'm going to close this out. This is the start of that room, and we know there must be a treasure chest the other way. So watch this. All right, and we're back at the item. This is the room we were we need to go back to. And that's as far that's as far away as you would ever need to go to know where the item is. So uh, I'll make sure I put the time that it took me to, to do get back here. You know, on, in uh, in text, you should see it. You know, above you right now. So I'll uh, look for look at that. That's how much time you would waste to go back for a chest. That's a lot better than going to the end. And I think that's something that even would help Spizzo when he's doing his streaming. If he comes up to a spot, if he just drops an item there, he'll easily be able to see it. So hopefully this will be an um, a advantage to everyone uh, to get this knowledge out there. So let's go make sure it's true and make sure we see what's in this room here. And here we are guys. Um, I did do a cut, it was quite a ways to go or I'll at least speed up the video or something like that. Um, it was a ways to walk over here to get over here, but as you can see on the screen now, there is a chest right over here, uh, proving that using the four room method after dropping an item, you can get your time down for going back for a missed opportunity chest down to a few minutes, or if, if if even that, to where um, most players, the majority of the players, can save time using this method. Uh, I just wanted, like I said, I wanted to go over this method before. I've covered it before on the channel, but I wanted to cover it again, and I'm uh, going to try to be sending this out to uh, different uh, players to try and get everybody up up to snuff on this and start using this method for themselves to try and make sure that we're getting the most out of every run. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.